is it possible to find the value of x given this condition? Here's the question. So given this right triangle with the side length 8 raised to the power of x, 4 raised to the power of x, and the hypotenuse 2 raised to the power of x, then the goal is to find the value of x that satisfies this condition. Now pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Now the answer to this question is of course, is it this is possible to find the value of x that satisfies this condition. And this is how we do it. Since it is a right triangle, we would use what we call the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 8 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2 plus 4 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2. The legs of this right triangle equals the square of the hypotenuse, 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2. Now, this 8, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of 3 because 2 times 2 times 2 simply equal to 8. And 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of x, we can simplify this or we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3. Why we do that? Because we have a common term now of 2 raised to the power of x. And using some loss of exponent, 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2, we can multiply 3 and 2, so this will give us 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 6. Now we will do the same thing to this expression, 4 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 2. This 4, we can rewrite this as 2 raised to the power of 2. We can interchange the exponent 2 and x. Now, using some loss of exponent, we can multiply this 2 and this 2. So we have 2 raised to the power of x raised to the power of 4. Now, since we now have a common term of 2 raised to the power of x, so what we're going to do is to replace this or to use another variable, and let's call this as y. Now, y equals 2 raised to the power of x. Technically speaking, y here is greater than 0. So y is technically greater than 0 because 2 raised to the power of x is always greater than 0. And our equation now becomes y raised to the power of 6 plus y raised to the power of 4 equals y raised to the power of 2. Now, let's focus on this result. And what we're going to do is to equate this to 0. And now we have a common factor of y raised to the power of 2. And since it is equal to 0, we can use the 0 property. So y squared equals 0 or y raised to the fourth power plus y squared minus 1 equals 0. Now, we know y is greater than 0, so y squared is technically greater than 0. This is not equal to 0, so this case, y squared equals 0 is not possible. So the only thing that we can do to find the value of y is this equation, y raised to the fourth power plus y squared minus 1 equals 0. So let's focus on this. And y raised to the fourth power, we can rewrite this also as y squared raised to the second power. Why we do that? Because we now have a quadratic equation in terms of y squared. And since it is a quadratic equation in terms of y squared, we can use the quadratic formula. So y squared equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, wherein the value of a is the coefficient of y raised to the second power squared, b is the coefficient of y squared, and c is the constant term. Now, a is 1, technically 1, so we can replace all a with 1. Now, b is the coefficient of y squared, which is also 1. And c is the constant term, which is negative 1. And if we simplify this, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and 1 plus 4 simply equal to 5. So, y squared equals negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2. But, y is greater than 0, so y squared is also greater than 0. So, we cannot take negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 because this is a negative number. So, we can say that y squared equals negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now, we don't care to the value of y, we care to the value of x. So, let's get the square root on both sides. Again, y is greater than 0. So we take the positive value of this y. Now, we know y equals square root of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and also y equals 2 raised to the power of x. Since we want the value of x, so let's replace this y with 2 raised to the power of x. Finally, 
we are now ready to find the value of x. So what we're going to do is to take logarithm to the base 2 of both sides. Now, why base 2? Because this x, we can put this x in the front and logarithm of 2 to the base of 2 simply equal to 1. So the left-hand side of our equation simply equal to x. And there you have it. x equals logarithm of square root of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to the base of 2. And this is the value of x that satisfies this equation. And this is also our answer to this question. Therefore, given this right triangle, then the value of x to make this a real right triangle simply equal to logarithm of square root of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 to the base of 2. And as always, we are done.